everyone. I am Kat, your resident evil community manager over at Capcom HQ in the UK, by the way. Good to see you all here. So, uh, this week we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Last week we revisited Resident Evil 2, the demo. Uh, this week we are going to chill with Resident Evil Zero. I'm going to take you guys back to where it all started. We're going to talk a little bit about the story and the lore. Uh, let's do some shoutouts. What's up, Drew? Jill Sandwich. Uh, oh, Dil Diligent. Drago. Snapdragon. What's up, everyone? Faded. Derpy. Clarden. Warvet. How y'all doing? Anyway, hope you guys are excited. For those of you who have not seen this game before, it is pretty cool. It kind of explains how everything started in Raccoon City. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, by the way, before we continue, I don't know if you guys are noticing, but my big chair is gone. They've confiscated it, they've taken it from me. So, <laughs> you guys won't be able to talk about that anymore, how tiny I look in the chair. Anyway, let's go. Zero. Oh, there we go, I have game audio as well. That, that does help. <laughs> A Midwestern town in America. I'm playing on PS4 right now. A solitary island far PS4 off Pro. the sea, Rockford Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved. Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Try not to talk over the cutscene, you guys. Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how those are react to this. as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! The singing gen actually has a reason story-wise. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding There's a reason area. to it. Captain, look. <gasps> Captain. Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base 
for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Love Enrico's voice acting, don't you? <laughs> I think it might be the same guy who voiced him in Remaster, by the way. So that's consistent. A train. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Hey guys! Anyway, welcome to those of you who are tuning in. We just got started on Resident Evil Zero. Uh, today I think we are live on both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, however, if you do want to chat or ask questions, I implore you, please come to Twitch. Uh, it's kind this of hard to keep track of two Star chats Star at once. Please identify yourself. I'm trying to hear what that radio voice says. Something about local government. Uh oh. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hi, what's up guys? What's up, Martin? Uh, so, actually there's a lot of cutscenes right at the start, so I'm kind of careful not to talk too much. But yeah, July 23rd, the Stars Bravo team gets sent in to finally investigate some of the murders that have been happening around Arclay. Um, there's been a slew of crows and dogs and wild animals washing up in the, in the shore and more and more people are gone missing. So of course, uh, the local authorities are wondering, you know, what's going on? Is there a killer on the loose? So they send in Bravo team to Arclay to investigate. And of course, someone has previously been tampering with the chopper, which is why they crash land. Uh, <clears throat> passenger's Diary July 14th Orders came from the boss today Looks like uh, we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountains Laboratory We're moving in two groups The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment July 16th Unfortunately, the test sub... Uh, Test production of BOW type Y139 is to be suspended because of the investigation. It's the same with one type 139. There is still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean T-virus. There is a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, Multiplication of internal toxins uh, and brain development. Uh, if these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain, certain areas become increasingly weak. F uh, problematically, one of these areas is also the head carapace. This lab we are going to, were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us with our research. June 19th. So I think this is actually a typo because uh, it, it doesn't make sense if they go back in time, you know. Uh, the day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is... No, I can't think about that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. So there we kind of have... Oh, this guy. This poor guy must have died in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. 
So this kind of explains the initial premise of the train, why it was here. So basically there was a umbrella team that was being sent in to try to reclaim a nearby old training facility, which we're going to talk more about. But yeah, this is the Ecliptic Express, a luxury umbrella train. It, 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 if it's not... <laughs> It's not Umbrella if it's not Luxury. Uh, there's no uh, insect like insectile BOWs. That's something I want to talk about later when we get to the training facility, Derpy. Uh, because right now we're still only seeing zombies. Stained with blood. Some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City is the in the Arkley Mountains lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now we are conducting a primary study into reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is already on site. An opening an investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders... Re William Barkin... So obviously it's supposed to talk about William Birkin and Albert Wesker, but they misspelled Birkin <laughs> to Barkin. Anyway, yeah. Just another little clue. Yeah, the same room theme is pretty cool for this one. Wh which one is your favorite, you guys? I think mine is probably between... I love Zero, don't get me wrong. But I think if I have to, have to absolutely choose one, it would probably be Code Veronica. There's something really magical about that one for me. <laughs> Let's take this. Uh, we are going to be live for about, oh, I want to say two, three hours maybe, so I'm in a little bit of a rush. We're probably not going to finish the game today, you guys, but that's okay. <gasps> Billy, Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know CVX. Been yeah, nice, nice me, one. Have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. <laughs> oh, she's tr bless her, she's trying so hard. This is her first mission after all, so... Edward! Are you alright? What happened? Worse than... We can't... You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of... Z zombies and... Monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh... Oh no! It's the doggos. So they control you sometimes here, depending on where exactly they spawn when they jump in. I'm not hitting any, am I? Oh! No, I'm not. Yeah, he's being super chill. I hear him walking around. <laughs> See, now I'm in trouble, because I spawned the other one. Let's go back here. Uh, doggos? Okay. Hello! <laughs> wow! I thought I bribed the enemies before the stream, you know? I was like, damn, I'm I'm the community manager, you know? I, you guys gotta make me look good. Here, here's some money. I gave, I gave some money to all the zombies, all the creatures. No, you guys can't hurt me. So much for that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so some people asked me yesterday, because I, I kind of, uh, I kind of asked a few of you what you guys would want me to talk about. Ow. This is not good. Hope I don't die, one of the first things I do. Um, yeah, so you guys asked me what, you know, what, how, what do I think about Billy and Rebecca and their relationship and how it sort of develops in the story? I know it's still... A little too early to talk about, but 
it's pretty funny there at the start because we hear Billy, he's all nonchalant, he doesn't care, he doesn't feel threatened or intimidated by her STARS members membership. And then there she is, first day of the job, first mission, you know, she's inexperienced, she's 18 years old, she just got hired as a STARS Bravo team medic and chemist. And, uh, <laughs> you know, there she is trying to do her job and this guy is just not complying. So what does she do? A kind of loose threat. Oh, I could shoot, you know. Uh, so it, it's pretty endearing. I actually really like uh, how the story develops and, and the whole power play, how she tries to be... She tries to show him that she's... She, she doesn't play around. <laughs> this is Rebecca. Over. She does get some nice progression, and uh, I know one of the things... Oh, hi. I know one of the things I get to hear a lot is how she seems so inexperienced and remastered ev after everything she went through in Zero. But the thing is, in Resident Evil Zero, I mean, they, they hadn't planned the game back then. It's, ki it's kind of hard to... be able to predict what's going to happen in future games, you know, otherwise they would have it's probably given her a little bit more experience for remaster. Cooperate. cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca <laughs> Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Trying to assert right, herself. Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Yeah, let's do it. We don't need no Billy. We got this. Yes, yeah, sp so speaking of earlier versions of Rebecca... <laughs> There was actually a Nintendo 64 version of Resident Evil Zero planned um, way back, like in the 1990s, I think in 1999 or 2000 it was even planned. But because of the, gra because of the limitations of the Nintendo 64, it had to be cancelled and it was postponed and later on re revealed and released for the GameCube instead. So RE Zero was actually supposed to look a lot more like remastered as well. And as for what Rebecca is doing now, well, remember, she became an advisor to the BSAA and a, and a researcher eventually. Um, so she... Excuse me, sir. She became sir. a chemist. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carcinogen SDA, for the host. If you guys don't know Carcinogen, you should. Let's get out of here. <laughs> What's up, Zid? What's up, Kriba? What's up, Duane C? K87, what is up DC? Welcome to the stream. Okay? We just got started, you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Simon Cowell would be proud. <laughs> engine car. Listen, we've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call. All right? I'll go check over there. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to keep him here. It's uh this game is very interesting. Uh Resident Evil 0 introduces a lot of new gameplay mechanics so you can you have a co-op partner or not a co-op partner. <laughs> you have an AI partner and uh you can basically control two characters at the same time, or you can split them up. Um, it's, it's interesting because... Uh, in some ways, Zero is ahead of Remaster when it comes to gameplay mechanics. Like, you can drop items anywhere. You can even see where the items are on the map. Um, the AI partner thing... Uh, there's a lot of little nifty things they introduced about inventory management. You can drop items anywhere. Whereas in Remastered, that stuff doesn't exist. But... Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> it was an illusion, so... Yeah, anyway. Zero is still clunkier than Remastered in some ways. It's actually considered one of the most tough games because of the gameplay mechanics. Um, it's pretty brutal sometimes. The enemies stun you a lot, and when you shoot enemies, they they can't really be stunned that easily, so... You're definitely at a disadvantage in Zero. Actually, let's, let's fix this as well. Or no, let's not, because I plan to abandon this gun soon. So, we're starting to notice that a lot more stuff is going on here on the train rather than just the weird, trippy leeches. Um, there's this mysterious guy here singing. There's zombies everywhere. What's, you know, what's really going on here? <laughs> I know a lot of people asked me as well about James Marcus, who we're going to find out more soon about, by the way. Um, like, why does he wear that weird dress? Why does he look so young? Well, the thing is, I can't really talk about that right now, actually, because it's kind of a game spoiler, and I don't know, are there people in here who actually have not uh, beaten RE0 or who don't know the story? I'm just curious. Because, to I know to a lot of people this is, we obviously all of us know the ending, we know what's going on, but there might be people who actually still haven't played it, or... Do we have anyone? I'd be surprised. Oh, right, I need to send... Did I send the key down to Billy? I don't think I did. Let's go ahead and do that. You haven't? Okay, well, there you go. See? There are still people. Yeah, I know a lot of people have forgotten the games as well. It's been quite a while. I feel like Zero isn't really played as much as... Oh, I did send it up. My bad. I did send it up. Okay. Ah, I have to call it. I thought I could just send it up. I'll, I'll call it up with Billy, I think. I think I can do that anyway, right? Or do I have to send it up? Yeah. But yeah, Zero, Zero is a little bit, um, it's not as commonly talked about as Remaster or as the other games, uh, because, I mean, th that's pretty common for Zero titles, because you, you basically have content that was, you have the beginning of a story that was put in afterwards. Uh, but Zero is pretty nice because it does explain a lot of the story about how the T-Virus was created, 
um, some of Umbrella's history, because as you guys know, Umbrella originally had three founders, uh, Oswell E. Spencer, James Marcus, and who was the third one? Do you guys remember? I'm having a memory lapse, so no, not really, I'm just testing you guys. <laughs> so Spencer, Marcus, and who else? Ashford, there you go. Nice! I just want to see if you guys are alert. But yeah, um, it, it, uh, essentially James Marcus is the original creator of the T-Virus. And there's a lot of themes around leeches and other animals because he used the original progenitor virus to uh, for research and then obviously by oh my gosh <laughs> by finally experimenting with leech DNA he came across there we go now he's dead um, by combining the Urobor uh, sorry, the progenitor virus with leech DNA, he finally stumbled across the T virus, and that's what they call the crustacean virus because the T virus actually has a lot of different um, a lot of different uh, strands. It's not just it's not just one. There, there's many different. Like for instance, the T virus version in the mansion that was the epsilon. Uh, strain, which is why it was airborne briefly, etc, etc. So that's why Resident Evil might seem inconsistent in some ways when it comes to enemies and you know like how come how come Resident Evil 1 has crimson heads but 0 and 2 don't. So. What difficulty? This is normal difficulty. My uh, glasses are actually fogging up was for some weird reason. <laughs> oh, the pressure is on. Let's see what was for dinner, you guys. Today's specials, Mediterranean style shrimp, carpaccio roast chicken. I don't know what that is. What is carpaccio roast? I haven't heard of that before. And then we have, I like these two images because it sums up umbrella so perfectly. So you have, join the party. The picture shows a group of people having a wild party. And then, the party's over. <laughs> yeah, you could say the party's over for Umbrella right now, am I right? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't think there's too much else there. Cat, show me the map for te second floor. LOL. <laughs> yeah, there were... Um, you have to understand, guys, about last stream, there were a lot of people who were excited about uh, RE2. You know, there were people who uh, wanted to get as much info as possible and We've seen the maps before. They're in the demo, so it was nothing new. I figured I could show. Let's see if I can try to grab this. There we go. Let's check this out. Oh, they look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. Yeah, so the leeches on the train ha have already started laying eggs. That is no good. Hi, what's up, uh, Emily Radfield? Good to see you. How is it going? She is a fellow Swedish lady, so I can relate a lot to her. <laughs> Carpaccio is thin meat slices. Ah, cool, I didn't know that. Oh, uh, there's no room. Uh, but don't worry not, worry not. See, because of this, we can actually drop items. And there's something really cool you can do on the train as well. Um, as long as you pick up every item once and then drop it, because uh, as you guys know, the, the train, will we won't be on it for much longer. We will be in a new area. So if we pick up these items and then drop them... I'm full, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they will actually reappear before the facility. So we don't have to worry about carrying them with us right now, which is really nifty. Cool, cool. I'm doing fine, Emily. Um, kind of just trying to get into the swing of streaming again. 
Um, a lot of you guys don't know, but before this I used to be a live streamer on Twitch, and I ha I probably haven't streamed the last six, seven months, so it feels weird being back again, especially for, you know, for Capcom <laughs> in an official capacity, so that's really cool. Will Twitch uh, subscribers for the channel get something? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll think about that. Maybe. Nice view here, by the way. So, you know what I realized? I, I was actually going to say this earlier. I'm sorry for randomly stopping here, but... Um, when watching this cutscene, did you guys hear how, uh, the- how Enrico mentions that Billy was institutionalized? That found- I- I- I thought that was really peculiar because, um, as we all know, he was innocent. He was- he was proven, um, or he, he wasn't proven, but he didn't do it, uh, which we're gonna find out more in the story, you know, he didn't commit all these murders. But, does this mean that they basically forced him um, to be institutionalized even though he had done nothing, you know, it's almost like they tried to break him. Ah, uh, thank you, uh, New York. I have a lot of info in my head, so sometimes it's hard to dig around and pick out the right info. Feel free to ask me stuff, feel free to... Oh! Back! We are not gonna be messing around with this. How do you kill a giant scorpion, you guys? With a knife, of course. Oh, oh! I hate when he does that. This is actually... legitimately the best way to kill him. So, if you guys remember that file that we saw on the roof, the Y139, how it was cancelled, this is that B-O-W. This is what they were talking about. Because if you guys remember, it, the, uh, the file said it had a carapace, um, that it had some really weak parts. This is so funny. <laughs> I feel like this is the equivalent of when your pet wants food, but you just tell it to go away repeatedly. You're just like, no. Nope. Bad scorpion. Oh. It is a speedrun tactic, uh, but ev even aside from speedrunning, it's actually pretty handy because it's easy. Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to use a bunch of ammo. I think every BOW's weakness is the knife. Ooh. Have, uh, have you guys ever played or ever done knife only runs in any other Resident Evil games? I've, I've done a full run in Resident Evil 3. I've also done it in Remaster, because as you guys know, there's a trophy in Remaster for literally doing the run with nothing but knives and defensive weapons. So I've done it in 3 and remaster. I did half of Code Veronica, but the t uh, the tyrant can be pretty tricky with a knife. You have an RE4? Nice! Is, is that even possible? Damn. Have you played Claire's demo? No. We have not showcased Claire's demo. Uh, that might be something for the future, you guys. Alright. I'm not the best at multitasking, so sometimes I get a little confused where I'm going, what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me just make sure I have the- yeah, okay, I have it. Uh, the most important thing is we have the pick so we can actually let out Rebecca, because she's stuck. If you guys didn't know, she's stuck in that kitchen right now. Oh my god. I can imagine worse places being stuck, just saying. Like, if you're gonna be stuck somewhere, at least make it a kitchen or somewhere that has food or something you can pass time with. What's up, Rebecca Ari? Nice to see you. Guys, if you don't know Rebecca, she is a... Hi! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you later. Uh, she is a community member who speedruns a lot. Um, not 
really sure where she's from. I don't want to presume and say the wrong thing and make a fool out of myself. So uh, make sure to check her out if you enjoy Resident Evil speedruns. That's just going ahead of myself now. Thank you, Cake. I appreciate that. Um... I'm just thinking uh, more along the lines of, uh, like, if you do a knife-only run in RE4, how would you handle some of the bosses? But I guess there's a strategy. Anyway, Train, Rebecca, Billy. Uh, so something that I also see a lot of people talk about when it comes to RE0 is they wonder, well, what happened to the rest of the Bravo team? We might as well talk about that now because... Aside from Enrico, we don't really get to find out, but... Um, Edward has died because he got chased by zombie dogs. Uh, basically, the rest of the team split off and Edward and Rebecca moved towards the train. Um, Kevin Dooley, he immediately died. He was um, a temporary helicopter pilot. I, actually, Kevin wasn't even a member of the stars, so I don't really know why they brought him Come along, on. but... Yeah. Um, yeah, Edward was the original pilot, but he died, um, so Kenneth, Kenneth made it to the mansion, I'm trying to think as I'm playing, Forrest also made it to the mansion, they both died, I actually think, uh, Kenneth and Forrest might have made it to the mansion at the same time, and I'm going the wrong way, we need to go back. <laughs> What's up, Chris? We want to know what happened to Billy. Uh, nobody, nobody knows. See, this is the beauty. This is why I like some games that have um, open interpretations because you guys get to wonder. You guys get to speculate. You know, there is no real answer. Uh, judging from the ending, though, he he definitely survives. Uh, I might as well talk about the ending as well. Actually, I know it's kind of anticlimactic, but I'll check it out. Um, because we probably won't be able to finish the game today, I think it might be a good idea. Actually, let's do this as well. I usually just do this. I like to give Billy everything and Rebecca just kind of... I'm going to get rid of her gun. Uh, anyway. What was I talking about? <laughs> I was talking about Billy. Yeah, uh, the ending, right. So, I'm not going to talk about the ending itself, but... There's this one visual that you see in the ending. Oh, Billy behind you, doggos. Oh God, oh God. Oh, okay, nice. Um, yeah, there's this one visual where you see a butterfly caught in a web. Now, as we find out during the story, Billy is actually innocent and uh, Rebecca realizes this and she helps him. She writes a report saying that Billy died during the Bravo investigation and she basically asks that the case be suspended. So that's really nice of her. Uh, so yeah, basically the imagery of the butterfly in the web can be symbolized as Billy being reborn because as you guys know, um, butterflies in a lot of cultures symbolize rebirth and life. All right. Can we get the... Yeah, we can, actually. So I was just thinking if we can get... We need to go get a very peculiar item that only exists in RE0. Follow me. Come okay. on. There's a... Re Rebecca's so bossy. Follow me. <laughs> and Billy's like, okay. What do you... Here, here's a question for you guys. What do you think happened to Billy? I want to hear your crazy stories. Uh, that wouldn't have been possible, B-Pad, because that was a long time ago. Billy would have literally been a child if that was his same team. Trust me, I actually had the same thoughts. Uh, let me see who ha let me see who has the space, actually. Uh, yeah. I had the same thoughts initially. I thought maybe his team was the RE5 team that investigated Sheva's village, etc., but no... That was ages ago. 
No, the butterfly caught in a web, I believe, is actually a reference to Billy. I've, that's just my interpretation, though. You guys can have... You guys can have your own... Um, what do you guys think it symbolizes? Alright, we're not gonna read the hookshot app operating manual. If you see me... Just a heads up, if you see me skipping some files, it just means that they are clues to puzzles. So Resident Evil does this a lot. You know, some files are actually story related, whereas others are supposed to serve as clues to the players so they can figure out what to do with certain puzzles. Rebecca, she was trapped in the mansion. Oh, that's possible. Okay, move back. Sorry. Oh god, Billy! <laughs> Sometimes I forget who I'm controlling. Hold on, I gotta take control of Billy because he actually has the ammo. Okay. If you're asking if Resident Evil 2 has 4K so, uh, resolution or support, yes it does. Also HDR for when I say older consoles, take it take it with a take it with a grain of salt. I hope Billy comes back in the future. He was a very likable character, you know. He was he was the sort of bad boy gone good almost. Oh god. And he also loves Queen. So there's something really cool. Uh, if you guys have. If you guys pay attention to some of the Easter eggs in Resident Evil, um, there's actually several references to Queen. Uh, Billy has a tattoo, I think, that says Mother Love. And then obviously we have Claire, who has Made in Heaven. And then also Claire in Code Veronica, Let Me Live. So. That's qu that's three Queen songs referenced in Resident Evil right there. It's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Hookshot. We we could um, let's kill this guy and then. Excuse me. Let's split up. I'm trying to I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. He's not dead yet. But yeah, Billy's Billy's a pretty interesting this character. Okay. His uh, willingness to sacrifice himself, you know, many times to keep Rebecca safe shows that he's not he's not really a bad character. I'm actually going to pass this to Billy. And I'm going to do this and then I'm going to use that and I think we're okay. see here. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna talk about... Did I talk about the N64 version? Yeah, I did. So, it's pretty cool. Um, if you watch some of the footage, there's YouTube footage out there of the original N64 version of Resident Evil Zero. Uh, if you watch it, compared like along the side of this new one, it actually looks pretty similar. I think even the voice actor might be the same person, at least for Billy. But they just couldn't make it work. So they came back to this game later. Oh. Barry? Uh, I honestly don't remember. I don't want to say too much on that. Because I don't remember. <laughs> I gotta say, out of all the games, RE0 is probably the one I'm least familiar with, and I still know quite a lot about it. I mean, I know the story, obviously. What's going on here? The eggs are hatching! So, if you guys didn't already connect the dots, the person that was singing on the hill right before the train took off 
he is the one who made the train move. <laughs> Uh, I believe that, see, someone asked before, I, I caught the comment, someone saying, uh, I just really don't like that guy singing. Well, I think the singing is a way of the queen leech to control the subordinate leeches, Let's so that, that's cool. why I think Roger. it's kind of, it's a theme in Resident Evil Zero, where you kind of see James Marcus, or leech queen, uh, singing to her babies. It's kind of creepy, actually. Uh, okay. We can now get the key card. Sweet. Nice. Let's head over here. Just hope there's no lurking zombies. Oh! Hey, what's up? Good to see you too. Pra probes? Proats? Sorry, I'm kind of terrible with names sometimes. Uh, oh, fun little fact by the way. So each character has their own little unique strengths. Uh, like for instance, Billy is physically stronger. He can take a lot more hits. Uh, so his vitality is stronger. He, I think he's also a better shot. At least with his gun. He has a more powerful gun. But Rebecca is the only one who can combine herbs, because Billy can't do it. <laughs> so, because she's the chemist, she can do that. And she can also... Uh, so you later on in the game you create these Molotov bottles, and she can also throw those better than Billy can. How many zombie bites are normal? It depends on uh, if you shake it off or not. So it's kind of hard to calculate. Alright. Slap the rings in here. Oh. She's the smarty pants. Yep. I was about to say something, but I don't know if I should. I would censor myself. <laughs> I, I, I have to constantly think, this is not my stream. This is not my stream. <laughs> anyway, let's get this open. By the way, did you guys notice uh, at the start when Rebecca encounters that old, it, it looks like an old man upstairs uh, before it turns into leeches? Have you guys. Delta team. This is Delta team. We have, gained control of the have you guys Over. noticed who he looks like? Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this. Yes, gets out. good catch, good Destroy catch, we pad. That's Completely. what I was going for. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to what? ten minutes to wrecked city. What happened? Not sure how the leeches managed to pierce tactical armor, but okay. It is the will of the queen. I, ne I never fully understood how he looked like James. Well, uh, basically... Actually, let's talk about that in a moment when we get to the training facility. Um, right now... So, right now, the, the team that we saw... It was like a flashback when we see the Delta team get killed. They were men that were sent in by Wesker uh, to secure the train or to detonate it. Uh, so it's not it's not USS Alpha team. It's not Hunk's team. It's Delta team. The train line of derailer crash. I gotta stop this thing. How many people were in stars in total? You mean? Uh, twelve people. So you have Alpha and Bravo team. Who will stay behind? Oh, sh here's the thing. I don't remember who I gave the wep who I gave the ammo to. <laughs> you know what? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do something interesting here. I I God, I hope I don't mess this up. I'll go over to the back deck and I, uh, but I want to take Rebecca for a reason. Cause you get to okay. see an extra cutscene if you run back as Rebecca. Don't screw up. Okay. Billy, ah, oh, it's okay. <laughs> <I won't. laughs> Damn it. We'll figure it out. Oh, rip. It's okay, I can heal through it. I think. As long as we get the card. That's all that matters. Let's tank this, boys! We got this! Oh! Hello! I almost missed that one as well. Backseater! Hang him! Burn him! <laughs> nah, it's all good. Alright, we're fast so we can get by these... Ugh. USS zombies. I want to say hunk zombies. I know that... It's like every time I see someone in a USS uniform, I just think it's hunk. Everybody's hunk. Slow, bro. We're gonna have to push through this. Just need to make sure she's okay, cause she- Oh, her health is so low. We might have to take one more hit. <gasps> Alright, go, go, go! Here we go, you guys. I get a little sad every time I see that scene. Because Edward was Don't supposed to take closer. care of her. You know, Edward Edward actually had a task to take care of her because she was the rookie. Well, I have ammo, but I don't have a weapon. I could just chuck some ammo at him, I guess. See, if this was remastered, I could have actually dodged him, but no. <laughs> Let's get out of here. No. <laughs> Poor Edward. Can we get some? Can we get some? Um, can we get some uh, F Fs in the chat for Edward? Let's hope I got my mats right, you guys. <laughs> it's gonna require some mats. Mats is not is not my strong side, but we shall see. I love this soundtrack, by the way. Alright. Eighty one. Yes, I got it. Nine eights and a nine. Engage the control device for the break. Over. Roger, I'll put the break on now. Thirty-six. Uh, uh, I think it's... Well, gosh, aren't I the expert? <laughs> I have no announcements to make right now regarding uh, any future UK against uh, events, you guys. All I can suggest is that you follow um, RE Games on social media, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, and also follow myself at I'm Catastrophe for future news and updates. Park champ, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So because of the leeches and because James Marcus willed, or rather, the Queen Leech willed the leeches to do this. The train kept on picking up speed, and just like Billy said, it was it was inevitable. It was eventually going to crash or just run off the rails. Rebecca. I'm here. Are you all right? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out.
So I need to be careful here. There's there's zombies. I'll go alone. Here, okay. I'll leave her here. Cause she's she's hurt. And I must protect her. And I should probably use that first aid spray, so I will. Sorry, you guys, uh, I'm trying my best to keep up with chat, but RE0 is one of those tricky games for me. Uh, no, she's getting munched on! How did you get there? Oh my god. Alright, you know what? You know what? You know what? No. No, no, no. Come here. And I just realized she's not gonna follow me. <laughs> Switch to her immediately. And go through. Whew. Yeah. I was just going to pick up the items. Uh, if you guys remember what I said earlier, uh, the items will spawn with you. The items that you had on the train, so... I think I'm just gonna do this myself. I'll have her wait, because... Yeah, it's just kind of tricky sometimes. Why is he shooting upwards? I wasn't aiming up. <laughs> Alright. That should be most of them, I think. I should probably bring her in because she has nothing. She needs to. She needs to contribute here. Having Billy do all the heavy lifting. Yeah, Re Zero is probably. Uh, I'd say Code Veronica is only a little no. easier. Okay. Yeah. So have him take the shotgun ammo. And I don't know how much else there is. Oh, I think I missed a few things. I must have missed the... F uh, not sure if I combined that green and red herb back in the train. Oh, that's fine. Alright, fine. Fixed cameras intimidate me. Yeah, they're, they're nicely set up. Uh, sometimes they can be a hindrance. But imagine trying to aim in fixed camera angle mode, though. <laughs> there is actually a... If you guys know, there's an easter egg in... I don't know why I'm talking about this right now, but... In RE5, there's an easter egg in which you can play with fixed camera angles for Lost in Nightmares, the DLC. And aiming is so hard. It's so incredibly hard. Here we go. We made it to the training facility. The Umbrella Research Center? <gasps> yeah, so she remembers First the old man, manager, remember? Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm. What about the mail? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge. Here we go! Umbrella. We're singing! <laughs> yeah, so he's controlling the leeches by singing. Hi, Nidorico. Welcome to the stream. Dr. Marcus? <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you?
Right. The plot thickens. So we learn a couple of things here. Um, it is James Marcus, or, well, who we don't know yet who it is, but who we think is James Marcus who spread the T-virus. Uh, both across the train and also across the lab. So there, there we go, we have it confirmed. The accident in the mansion that caused the T-virus spill was actually not an accident. It was caused by James Marcus. So what happened is one of the tanks in the basement ruptured, uh, leading to a airborne version of the virus spilling out and infecting everyone in the mansion. And obviously because no one was there to take care of the BFWs and the other, like, the other experiments, you know, the dogs and the hunters, they all escaped and they started killing people and local animals and infecting everything and everyone. So it is pretty cool to kind of hear that it was more than just, whoops, oh, we had an accident. Oh, well, there goes uh, 20, 30 uh, years of research. <laughs> All right, uh, let me I'll think about this. There. So, yeah. because... Let's go. That's not what I wanted yeah. to do. So, because this is the central area, I like to use this as a... as a hub, as a central hub to leave all my area... all my items. So I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop this. Just make sure... That seems fine. I'm just gonna leave this here. Uh, so yeah, this this uh, research facility or training center is actually pretty iconic for Resident Evil. Do you guys know who was trained here? Um, so James Marcus, basically, uh, once him and Spencer and Ashford had decided to create this company, um, they joined forces, uh, they created Umbrella, they started ex doing these crazy experiments, and, you know, Marcus was so absolved in his research, but obviously, in order to do this, they needed more manpower. And so what they did is... They started ha like they started hiring people, they started having trainees. And this was the place where all the researchers, all the military personnel, etc. were trained. They were prepared for a long time. And if you guys know, uh, Albert Wesker and William Birkin have been with the company pretty much since the 70s. Oh my god, no. You know what? I don't trust her. I'm just gonna let her be in the main hall. I seriously don't trust her. <laughs> yeah, Barkin. That 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 is a funny typo. I'll go All right, on. you okay. stay there. Gosh. They did a yes. They did assassinate Marcus. Um under Spencer's orders, because once these uh, three aristocrats, once these three rich men started realizing how much potential there was, you know, they could make so much money off of these viruses and all the experiments, then obviously there became issues because everyone wanted to trump the other person. So you had Marcus, he wanted to one-up... Well, actually, James Marcus was more interested in his own research uh, it was more Spencer. Spencer was the one who wanted to kill the others and usurp their research for his own profit. Uh, oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Coolest character in the RE universe? Oh, that's a tough one. I really do like Barry. Barry and Billy. You guys notice that all the cool characters start with B? I hope I have enough room. Uh, probably won't. I'll see if I can get a heal from the main hall. Oh, did I not have any? I think I might have given it to Billy. I might be holding on to it as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, let's use that and catch up. Like, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> but Steve, yeah, we all love but Steve. He's everyone's favorite character. I actually really love Ada as well. She's pretty awesome. Follow me. Okay. 
Anyway, I need Rebecca here because... Yeah, this game is tricky. Uh, there are two characters, but you have to manage your items a lot smarter than you do in the other games. So... If the other character doesn't have a... Doesn't have a weapon or something, it can still be useful to you because you get... Hey, you get six uh, free item slots, so... I either use Rebecca or Billy as a pack mule, depending on who I need for whatever situation. Right. <laughs> you guys... Shoved Rebecca back to the door. Yeah, no respect. All right, she's she can hold on to the shotgun. That's fine. But yeah, so the training facility existed. Well, I don't want to say even before the mansion because the mansion was built in the 60s as I'm sure most of you know I'll check it out. but uh, in terms of like research I do think that there has been a lot more research on the on T-virus the conducted here in this training facility and in the labs I'm going up here now because when you come back here later, there's gonna be monkeys, and I just- I ain't about that life. I don't want to mess with those monkeys. They are such a pain in the butt. Seriously, the, there's a, this one enemy type in this game, the Eliminators. Oh, they're just awful. They're way worse than Hunters. So I'm just gonna get rid of these zombies, get the green herbs back here, and then I'm done. And now Rebecca can actually come up. Great! Oh my god, you guys, with the B-meme, you just can't let it go! <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, so Re Rebecca is the only one who can mix these. That's fine. Uh, anyway, this way. Okay. I was gonna talk about James Marcus. I was kind of interrupted by the cutscene there, but um So the reason to why obviously the real James Marcus is dead, okay? He's been assassinated uh -huh, Because Spencer wanted his research and he knew that Marcus didn't wouldn't be interested in sharing So he wanted to progress Marcus's t-virus research because as we know Marcus created the t-virus I mentioned this before um, by combining the progenitor virus, which is the virus they found in Africa, with leech DNA. So, Spencer wanted all that sweet research. He had uh, Marcus assassinated, and it was arranged by Wesker and Birkin, which is ironic because Wesker and Birkin were the only two candidates, or the students, that Marcus actually cared about, and that he actually trusted. So, it's pretty sad how he was betrayed like that. And Marcus, uh, compared to- compared to Ashford and, um, compared to Ashford and Spencer, I would actually say Marcus was a much better person. Because all he really cared about was his research. He might have started using humans uh, for experiments, I'm not saying that makes him a good person, but <laughs> compared to Spencer? Yeah. No, he was pretty good. Uh, what's up, uh, Insomnia? Good to see you. Code Veronica is pretty hard for me personally. Code Veronica is... Once you figure it out, it's not too bad. Actually, I'll drop this up here. Yeah, my, my commentary this stream is definitely going to suffer as a result of this game and me having to constantly think about the inventory management, so I do apologize in advance. Uh, please, guys, if you do have anything particular you want to talk about when it comes to the Ari story or Ari Zero or One, especially, um, 
ask, go ahead. They both turned against Umbrella too. Well, yeah, exactly. Everyone's everyone's kind of in it for their own. Everyone's in it for their own purposes. Uh, even Wesker. I actually don't remember now if that cutscene is played, but he says, "I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella." So you know, even Wesker just wanted to carry out his final orders and just leave because he started realizing that um, everything was going uh, everything was going to hell more or less. Let's just go over here. I think it's time. Oh no, I know what we need to do. My bad. I'll go alone. I'll have Rebecca wait here. Hi, Doctor Who. I am doing good. How are you? Hope you're all just hanging out, enjoying the stream. Probably gonna see me get wrecked soon. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely agree, Doctor. Uh, this is just a, this file is also another puzzle clue, so I'm not gonna read it too much. But yeah, RE zero is is pretty tough. Just the constant thinking of where you put items, how you manage items, how you move around with the characters, the puzzles. The puzzles actually not too bad, but there's a lot of confusing doors in RE zero that look similar, so. <laughs> The door is covered by swords. I'm sure we'll see them soon so I can show you guys. Right. Hi, thank you, DB Fig. It's good to see you as well. I appreciate that, man. Wait, Forrest doesn't wear shoes? I don't remember this. That would be very peculiar. Huh? Wear shoes? No, they all wear shoes. What's going on here? I think they just sound like they don't because they have these weird shuffling sounds when they when they move about. Oh, nice. So sometimes you have a random chance of uh, blowing a zombie's head off, which is really nice insta-kill right there, but it's very rare. I think it's a lot more common for Billy's gun than Rebecca's, which is why I usually drop hers and only use one, so I, I pull all my handgun ammo into one character. Uh, this is just a map. We don't need that. Don't think there's too much else here. Split up. Okay. Let's regroup. Roger. I'll go along. God. Okay. I have my buttons bound differently, <laughs> so... Uh, she has a shotgun, I guess, worst case. Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Let me just grab this handgun ammo, please. No, that's not what I want. There we go. There is a lot of... Uh, you're gonna see a lot of bugs in this game. There's a lot of insectile enemies. I actually think someone asked me on Twitter the other day... Um, why that is. Like, wh why is RE0 so focused on bugs? Um... The the research that oh birds be nice. The research that James Marcus liked to focus on at first, uh, it was all animals and especially insects. He believed that insects were the key to, uh, you know, to progress the virus, the product that they were trying to develop. And it turns out it was because the leeches were were the key to it all. So he was right. But eventually he didn't feel. Uh, see. Um, Unlike Spencer, James Marcus actually avoided using human test subjects for as long as he could until he started realizing that, yeah, this isn't going to work. I, I need people. <laughs> uh, take care, Rebecca. Thank you so much for popping in. 
it was uh, really nice to see you. Good luck on the speedruns, if you end up applying to GDQ as well. I don't know if you'll be going. If you guys don't know, Resident Evil is actually quite popular. Oh! I was gonna say, just Resident Evil is quite a popular speed game. A lot of people love to speedrun it, so... It's usually featured in GDQ. Yeah, huge insects. That was a common property of the T-Virus, by the way. Um, the T-Virus, it, uh, Umbrella showed, it showed some potential because Umbrella could weaponize some creatures to a certain extent. They could, they made the zombie dogs, which we see all over the forest, which are the Cerberus dogs. Um, uh, there are hunters as well. Where's Rebecca? Oh, she's over here, okay. So yeah, there, there's there's some uh, progress they managed to make, but the T-Virus, what it really did to most animals is it just made them larger and more aggressive. So it wasn't really usable as a, as a biological weapon, because think about it, if you this want a bioweapon, you want it to be able to follow commands to a certain extent, and a larger, more aggressive animal isn't going to help that. So <laughs> uh, let me just think. I'm sorry, you guys. They have all over the place. Uh, combine these. We need to go get the grenade launcher, so let's go do that right now. But yeah, uh, the T-Virus, its primary purpose was to create tyrants. Oi! <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. I completely forgot about these guys. There you go, Rebecca got rid of them. <laughs> Yeah, um, T-Virus, primary function was the tyrants, because they were, they were basically people that had the super strength and super speed that Umbrella needed, they just needed to test the combat data. So that's why we have the tyrant in the, in the Arclay lab. He was the, the main project that Umbrella was working on. Everything else, if you think about it, they were just byproducts. All the zombies? They're byproducts. They they were mutations that weren't meant to happen. Ah, oh, she's full. I always forget who has the slots. There we go. Dropped a follow on Twitter. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, guys, please, uh, if you haven't already, make sure to follow at re underscore games and also at I am catastrophe. That's kind of a weird spelling, actually. So, I would have to spell it out and I don't feel like it, so just just look me up. <laughs> um, also follow Resident Evil on Facebook and on YouTube. There will be plenty of new content in the near future, as well as news and updates, because as you guys know, we are currently working on releasing Resident Evil 2. So, yeah. There's going to be juicy details in the future, I am sure. Uh, okay, I'm full. I need to decide what to do here. <laughs> you know what? I could just drop these heels for now. I'll leave them here. And I will... This is kind of annoying. I'll go. Yeah. But I need the slots right now, so I'm gonna go outside and drop this off outside. Oh, Dudley. Mr. Dudley. I thought you'd given up on Resident Evil, man. Feels bad, man. You need to get back into speedrunning. What system is this play being played on? So, uh, I'm currently playing this on a PlayStation Pro. A PlayStation 4 Pro. Which is probably... Unless I say otherwise, I think I will be playing most of the games on PS4 Pro. The games that are available to it anyway. <laughs> uh, obviously if we play the old RE2 or old RE3 and stuff like that, then old RE1, then obviously I will need... Oh crap. Then obviously I'll need 
a different system, but... Uh, I really need this right now. I need this, so I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. We don't really need that. We don't really need this, is Rebecca. We don't. This way. Yeah. We'll be fine. I'll go check over there. Okay. All right. Gonna leave her there. Hello cat, no more huge chair. Nope! As I said at the start of the stream, the huge chair is gone. For now, anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys, uh, seen a lot of questions on Twitter asking about RE2. This channel is called Resident Evil. I will, I will keep remind you, it's not called Resident Evil 2, but Resident Evil. So we will be playing a bunch of various Resident Evil games. I'll be showing, ca showcasing some of them, uh, talking about the story, and we will, of course, get back to RE2 as well. Maybe even with some guests in the future, so there's stuff coming. Oh no! This is pretty funny how this bug just carries Rebecca around. I think it actually does bite her a little, but it's pretty harmless. Alright. See if I can do this. Hey, Billy! Excuse me! Just firing into the wall for no reason. Thanks for uh, blowing my ammo there. Alright, we have to use a shotgun now. Damn it! Freaking Billy! That wall asked for it. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Billy! Oh, what? Are you already hurt, sir? How the hell are you already on orange caution? Ah, Alright, fine. I'll heal you. I guess. No! Oh, stop it! Centipedes. I think this is a perfect bioweapon. I don't know about you guys, but... If someone put a centipede in my town this large, Rebecca. I would go running. Are you all right? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, it it wouldn't surprise me if you guys remember that scorpion on the train. It wouldn't surprise me if they had tried to do some serious DNA splicing. What a rude centipede that died on top of my items. Thankfully I can see um, where everything is because of the shine. I'm <laughs> a centipede out of there. Hold on. Yeah, centipedes are just freaking rude. Okay, uh, let me think. So we got the fire key now. Which means there are two doors I can access. And I think I know exactly where those doors are. See, one thing that's pretty funny about Umbrella and all their research that they were trying to do here. So they were trying to create this perfect bioweapon that they could use to take out their enemies and, you know, basically sell on the black market to whoever would be interested in buying. But really, if you think about it, that concept in itself is flawed. I mean, just releasing these giant creatures who are aggressive would be enough. You know what I'm saying? It would take out most people. They, they really didn't need to do all this research. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this for now. Although, I have a very specific spot I like to leave it because sometimes the game glitches out and doesn't let you pick up things, so I'm gonna leave it right here. Right over here by Mr. Uh, 
James Marcus. Do I even need the shotgun? Yeah. I'll drop one of these. There we go. That's better. Actually, let's train. Let's trade. Let's trade. And let's... Oh. And then let's... There we go. That's better. I'll go alone. Roger. Hi, what's up, lady? Glad you caught the stream. We are going to be going for a while. As I said, Today we are multi-streaming as well. I think we are anyway. We should be, right? Uh, on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, not Twitter. YouTube and Twitch. And I think we're going to be going until... Probably... 8pm GMT or 7pm BST. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh! I was wondering where that guy was. Streaming on Twitter. Hey, what's up, Roxy Rose? Good to see you as well. Oh my gosh, all the speedrunning ladies are coming in here today. That is lovely. We have some really talented gals in the RE speedrunning community. I used to be one myself. I actually used to speedrun as well. Don't know about talented, but I speedrun. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Now we have the lighter fluid as well. I don't know if I want to call it a long stream. I guess it is because I haven't... I'm not used to streaming, but back when I used to stream on Twitch... Uh, I had... Sometimes I streamed up to like 13, 14 hours. <laughs> so yeah. But I guess it's pretty long. Okay. And there's one more door, and I think it's uh, up here. Yeah, it's in that. It's in that. Uh, I know where it is actually. But I might want to bring Rebecca for that. I think. Yeah. Are you just streaming once a week? Yes, so these uh, Resident Evil streams are... Sorry, I forgot to bring Rebecca. Uh, they're more of a community thing, really. Uh, I just uh, thought it would be cool if we guys could get together once a week, play our favorite Resident Evil games, uh, talk about the story, talk about other things. And then, of course, there's going to be times when maybe we showcase something new as well. Maybe we have something exclusive going on. Maybe we have guests over, you know. So uh, there's hopefully going to be some pretty cool projects in the near future. I think maybe... I want to be careful here. It might be a zombie alive. Hello! I think we're fine. There's definitely going to be zombies in here, though. Let's split up. You wait okay. here. Medium long stream light. <laughs> Look at Casey showing up. I see so many familiar faces. Great to see you guys. Are you going to do all games in order or mix it up? Oh, there's no zombies in here. What am I talking about? Uh, I will try to do them in chronological order. So not necessarily in the years they were released, but chronological when it comes to the story, which is why I'm doing Resident Evil Zero first. You know, this this is July 23rd of 1998, and it doesn't get earlier than that. Um, Resident Evil Remastered, which is the first game, happens on July 24th. So this is kind of like a prequel sequel. I like to call it a, pre a prequel sequel. Or a sequel prequel. 
but I actually feel like Zero and Code when it comes to the story, uh, Zero and Code Veronica go very nicely hand in hand uh, because Code Veronica covers the Ashford side of the legacy. Uh, Zero covers James Marcus and everything he had done, and then you have Zero. Uh, sorry, you have uh, RE One and RE Five that focus more on Spencer and his goals. Assistant Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does Headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones, though, so can't complain, I guess. William and Albert. They might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will, Practical Al. They really are opposites, as they're always competitive in, in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th, uh, 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between these two. It's the first time since this training facility was built when director Marcus has ever shown interest in anyone other than his own research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. So here's the thing. Um... Wesker and Birkin did have a certain rivalry, but because they had their own unique skill sets, uh, there was never any real competition, per se, between them. Um, you know, as it said, practical Al, scholar Will. So, so Will was the smart one, the, probably the better researcher, whereas Al was maybe more clever and scheming in other ways. Uh, Albert actually ended up... Um, uh, so, so first of all, let me let me back let me dial this back a little bit. Both of them joined. I think Wesker joined Umbrella Come on. when he was okay. only sixteen years old. Uh, there's more to it than that, though. There's the Wesker project, which I'm not going to get into right now. It's pretty complicated and convoluted, but uh, yeah. So, Alan will joined uh, Umbrella as at really young ages so they were kind of more or less raised in that era of Spencer and and Marcus and they were kind of taught and raised to be ruthless and uncaring and only caring about their work so it's kind of interesting actually um anyway William was actually a pretty jealous person <laughs> he was jealous of other researchers he was very prone to be jealous like he was jealous of alexia for instance because alexia was just a child at the time she was 10 but she was apparently an excellent uh, researcher herself i forgot to go in here sorry but yeah anyway despite their rivalry which was more playful i actually feel like uh albert and William worked quite well together. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, guys, uh, if you want to spread the word to other Resi fans about this channel, about RE games just in general, um, please do so. It would be very appreciated. We, we do have... <gasps> what am I doing? I just noticed this. Look at this. Uh, as I said, we do have a new game coming up, and hopefully we will be able to attract a lot of new fans to the series as well. Maybe people who aren't as familiar with Resident Evil as well. That would be pretty cool. Uh, right. I'm trying to remember what's in here. I'll go alone. Uh, actually, I think I know. It's fine. What is up, Albert? Oh, nice meal they're having there. Doesn't it amaze you how how come zombies never seem to never seem to they're never full. They can just eat more and more and more. And especially, that's a common T-virus side effect for humans as well. Uh, once people get infected, whether it, if it's a transdermal infection, so like if you 
you know, get it in your bloodstream or if you touch your eye after you've touched a zombie or if you touch your mouth or whatever. Uh, but yeah, no matter how you get infected, you will eventually develop this really deep hunger. You will start to itch all over. There's actually a couple of really nice diaries in both Resident Evil 1 and 2 that describe this. Uh, where people start thinking about food more and more. There's literally one guy in RE2, in the old RE2 by the way, I'm, I'm not, no spoilers, nothing, no clues. So yeah, the old RE2, uh, <laughs> that uh, talks about how he had to go, he constantly kept smelling meat and talking about meat, and that was the only way that he could control himself from basically jumping other people. <laughs> it's pretty disturbing. I'm laughing, but trust me, I'm pretty... Resident Evil is a pretty disturbing game. Um, so we have one of those. We have this book of good as well. What do we need to do now? I think I've kind of lost track. Yeah, itchy tasty. Exactly. There you go. Right there. We don't have... Uh, we don't get the water key... Oh, right! I know what to do. I know what to do. We actually need to go back in there. Oh, no, we don't. We can go the other way. It's fine. We need to go through that big room with the where we fought the, the Mr. Centipede. That's where we need to go. Okay. That diary is still the best. Do you guys have, like, a favorite... Uh file? A favorite readable file in any Resi games? I think mine is definitely... Uh, there's a there's a few that I really like. I love Chris's diary in RE2, which kind of... It's a really nice touch because it explains the events between Resident Evil 1 and 2, and then you have Chris saying that he didn't want to tell Claire where he was going because she could be put in danger and then that's exactly what she does in Code Veronica so <laughs> it's pretty funny to think about it that way uh, how that one file sets up the premise for an entirely <clears throat> for an entirely new game but then there's also the classic files like Keeper's Diary and I don't know I, I feel like that's always been a Resident Evil thing having these readable files other games may do it, but I think Resident Evil started it. And we do it best, goddammit. <laughs> Chief I yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for pointing that one out. I was actually about to mention that one as well. Chief Irons is another great one. Excuse me? Oh no, I might have to... I need Rebecca to come over there. Sh crap. Okay. She's right below the room, too. If only I could lift myself up. Yeah, Jill's diary is pretty cool as well. Although Jill's diary is probably one of the hardest files to unlock. Because you have to get every single file in, in uh, RE3 in the exact order. So... Anyway, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here. <laughs> Keeper, yeah, the Keeper's Diary. I think a lot of people would give that answer because it is, you know, it's in the first game. It was the most iconic one. And it does have the classic for Itchy Tasty line. Okay. Rebecca's gonna go and help Billy clean up some bugs. So currently in this game, we are basically trying to just unlock some of the various doors. We need to figure out what's going on. Uh, Resident Evil is a little bit unique compared to a lot of other games because there's not necessarily always a direct objective. It's more a matter of... No! Bad birds! It's my own fault for not playing with D-pad. <laughs> but uh, there's not necessarily always an objective. It's more... You, you explore this unfamiliar area and you find a, a locked door and then you're like, oh, what does this do? And you find a different area with a puzzle and you're like, oh, what does that do? So you're actually trying to figure out what's going on in the game as you're going rather than 
You need to find so and so. You need to speak to so and so. Nice try. Nice! No damage as well. I like that. Patrick's memoirs. Yeah, they, they were actually really good as well because they kind of describe uh, Spencer and Marcus and all those other gents growing up together. Spencer, he might seem like a... You know, a lot of these guys might seem like cozy old grandpas, but mm, they're not very nice. They're not very nice people. Yes. Uh, so it's a minute hand. I want to move it right... So it's 8.15. Uh, I'm probably making this look a little easier than it is, but I've played these games a lot of times, and I just remember the puzzles. And I know for this one it's 8.15. But for people who don't know the puzzles, as I said, there's always the readable files that give clues. Why do I see a cat on the screen and why am I grinning up a storm? <laughs> What's up, man? Good to see you, Vane. Yeah, I uh, kind of sort of left Sweden, uh, moved to the UK and started working for Capcom. That's my story. <laughs> um, let me just make sure. We have... We still need the other slide. Actually, we can now. We can get it because when we solved... This way. When we solved the clock puzzle... We also opened up several other doors. And there's a lot of um a lot of these puzzles in these games are pretty nonsensical. As in they don't make sense. They don't necessarily have a logic to them. They just are. Can you Oh, oh my god, Rebecca! That poor crow became mincemeat. That was so unnecessary. You don't have to do that, damn. You wasted a bullet, girl. I'm trying to be all conserv conservative here, you know, it's a survival horror game and she just goes shooting a crow with a shotgun. <laughs> What's up, Reese's Wave? Nice to see you. What is up, Lava? Rod Lima? Hello, sir. Okay, Billy looks like he's had some bad tacos, so I should probably heal him. Uh... Is stick that in the grenade launcher. I'm running dangerously short on handgun ammo. Ugh, yikes. Okay. <laughs> Becca really hates... Yeah, she really hates burbs. She really does not like them. How are you doing, Mr. Rod? What have you been up to? Uh, okay. Which character had the... Oh yeah, okay, Billy. Cool. Nice, so I can immediately put these in. And I'm actually going to try to play it smart and just put this back immediately. I wanted to show you guys something, by the way. This is a, another unique feature for RE0, I think anyway, if I remember correctly, Remastered doesn't have this, but so because RE0 enables you to drop items anywhere, you can actually do this and you can see exactly where you left certain items in certain rooms which is very helpful because imagine dropping something somewhere and you you don't remember <laughs> where that'd just be devastating um item box item box yeah no there's no item boxes in this did i pick up the other white piece no i didn't Okay. I'll go check over there. Okay. No, you're not. Let's go. Come with me. Come okay. with me. I think it's better. I'll go. Actually, you know what? I'll okay. just I'll just I'll just handle this myself, Billy, cuz he doesn't have any handgun ammo anyway, so it's fine. Real Survivor? Uh, yeah, so in Real Survivor, there are no... There are, no, there are item boxes, but they're not connected. So basically, you have to use one storage. You have to pick. <gasps> oh, 
of headshots for days. Okay. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. You see a lot of uh, these files in the earlier Resident Evil games because they reflect a lot on uh, how Spencer was obsessed with the idea of immortality. You know, he wanted, he was afraid of becoming sick and old. He was actually terminally ill. We, we, we learned that in RE5. He was on life support. But um, yeah. I think his, the, the older he grew, the more obsessed he became with the idea of somehow being able to evolve and control humanity. He wanted power, he wanted to be immortal, he wanted to govern other, over other people as a god. Which is actually one of the main reasons to the, the whole Resident Evil storyline. Like, yeah, sure, uh, Umbrella had some nice financial gain off of making these viruses and selling them, but the primary goal was really Spencer's ambition. Uh, I have the two slides now. So I guess it's time to go say hi to... Oh, yeah, I guess it's time for that. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'll leave this here. I don't like the Spencer never really showed up in the game. Well, think about it, though. Uh, he does show up in RE5, but anyway... He is more of a silent, faceless protagonist, and that's something I always really liked about Resident Evil. You know, the, the more obscure evil. It's not necessarily the zombies and all the enemies you're fighting. They're not the evil ones. They're just victims, just like, just like anyone else. Oh, I'm terrible at talking <laughs> doing stuff at the same time. Yeah, sorry, I was looking for the... I was looking for these. I need to mix some Molotovs. Well, he got killed, but he was just a simple human. And I really do like the RE5 storyline. It was pretty symbolic that Wesker ended up... ...once realizing what everything was. You know. Wesker ended up... ...following in Spencer's footsteps. Okay, you know what? I can't do this. I need to... <laughs> Where are these? Oh, they're not in here. Where did I leave them? I had more Molotovs, I'm sure of it. What did I do with the rest of them? Huh? Oh, it might be... Is that? No, that's just a heal. That's just a heal. I'm certain I had more heals. Or, sorry, more Molotovs. Hmm. Maybe I left them... Let's split here. I have, to go, I have to go back. <laughs> I can do without them for now, but it's just my OCD is telling me I need to go get those Molotovs, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back down. Yeah, exactly, Quicksilver. And if you even think about it, if you even think about why the 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 Spencer Mansion was placed where it was, like Raccoon City was little more than a than a almost a village in the '60s before Spencer came there. And he looked at the Arclay region, he realized there were so many different plants and animals. And he must have thought to himself, Hey, this is the perfect place to conduct experiments on. We have all sorts of materials and resources at our hands. Uh, crap. It's not here. Uh, oops. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do without them. Uh, but anyway, w when Spencer established Umbrella and once they started racking in money... Not that they needed to because Spencer was already insanely rich, as were... As was Ashford, but uh... <laughs> once that happened, uh, Raccoon City grew as a result of that because, you know, they employed a lot of people. Umbrella employed so many people in Raccoon City. So... Umbrella more or less created Raccoon City. Yeah, exactly, the herbs with the... Although that's a little bit inconsistent because 
We've seen the, the herbs in many other games. Let's regroup. Okay. So... Huh. The mysteriously vanished Molotovs. Do you, any of you guys have any idea what happened to my other Molotovs? Because I could... Did I just maybe forget them? Maybe I did, yeah. I must have gotten so caught up in playing this that I completely forgot about uh, picking up all the items on the train. Yeah, exactly, Quicksilver. It's it's very possible. In fact, if you think about it, Ashford mysteriously died to to the progenitor virus, which didn't actually happen. Let's face it. We all know Spencer really killed him. Oh, here's more bottles. Yeah, 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 yeah. The city was basically built around um Around Umbrella Rail. I mean, it's possible. Let's face it, guys. No, no game is perfect. You know, certain things have to be retconned and fixed and adjust, adjusted. Uh, Resident Evil has had an insanely long lifespan for a a video game I'll series. So, Roger. no. What are you Come doing? On. Roger. I I have the buttons bound differently. <laughs> oh, let's go. Don't fire Rebecca, don't you dare. I saw her, I saw her eyeing him. I saw her eyeing him with her shotgun. <laughs> yeah, so the leeches are more and more trying to mimic Marcus right now. Um, because when when Spencer had Marcus assassinated, uh, Marcus's pride and joy, which was the leeches, um, they have eventually ended up developing a conscience. Let's split up. Um, no, Becca. Oh my God, you. <sighs> Just stop. And the leeches more or less preserved the last memories that James Marcus had. So everything James Marcus felt or wanted or thought of, the leeches incorporated that when he died. So it's not really James Marcus. It's the leeches that have reanimated. James Marcus through a persona, if you will. I know that's a really weird, complicated way of explaining it. I'm sorry, I'm probably not doing it justice, but Resident Evil is a little bit tricky to explain. Uh, but I know some people have also asked me, why does the young James Marcus look that way? Why does he have this weird dress? Why does he have his long hair? Honestly, I really don't know. That's up to interpretation, I think. Maybe it's just this ideal that they had of being these weird cultists or aristocrats. Maybe the leeches somehow took after that. Okay. I'm gonna put these in and then I'm gonna give the Molotovs to Rebecca because she throws them better. Well, yeah, crazy too, but I just mean from my perspective it's tricky to explain. <laughs> Especially when I'm trying to play at the same time, as you can see, I'm not doing a too good job of that right now. No, don't, don't, don't do it. I'm trying to back out of this. Insert. There's something written on the pic. Yeah, so on to the next puzzle. But it's pretty impressive to think about, though, that all of these brilliant minds of Umbrella were trained right here in this facility. That's pretty crazy. But then Spencer, of course, had it all shut down once he realized that James Marcus had a little bit too much of an advantage in the research field. Come on! Okay. Yeah, I really don't know about the dress. Like like I said, the only thing I can think about is that maybe it was some kind of an imprint from his mind mindset where they thought they was they were going to be some cult or something. I don't know if it has something to do with that. Billy, stay back. I'm going to kill this leech. Oh my god. That's not good. Actually, I think I'm direct hitting it. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. 
We did not waste a single Molotov. <laughs> All the theories about why Marcus looks the way he does, I love it. Maybe Marcus just really liked manga. Maybe. Maybe it's possible. What am I doing? Oh my god, I... Yeah, just drop these. Okay, think straight, think straight. Uh, drop these. We need to go upstairs. We can actually drop these as well. We're not gonna be facing a leech for a while yet. We need to do this puzzle, and this puzzle is kind of weird. So I hope I can get it right. Because I always forget... It's actually pretty hard to ask... Uh, questions, because a lot of the people that worked on previous RE titles may not even be around anymore. Hey, what's up, Derpy? Welcome back. Okay. Does she have it? I forgot. Yeah, she does. Okay. Excellent. Now loading. So high tech. Please input code 2D. Oh no, okay. Just let me look. Uh, oh no, I can't look at it there. Uh, oh, one, two. So two should be here, right? Yeah. I'll go. Okay. Two should be here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, zero, a. Uh, like maybe here or here. I forget which side exactly. We'll try. Oh God. First try, let's go! Do I answer questions <laughs> regarding RE2 Remake? Probably not. Let's try to focus on RE0, you guys. I know a lot of people are excited about RE2 Remake, and that's great, but... We... There's a lot of love to be had for the other series as well, you know? It's a pretty amazing game. Game series, should I say. Uh, okay. We can go here. I think anyway? Should be okay, yeah. Okay. Let's split up. Okay. Okay, Billy, you need to you need to equip your gun, son. This is business. Yeah, the cartridges. It's pretty funny because as I said earlier, the N64 version of this game uh, wasn't able to be created or developed because of the limited cartridge size. But from what I've seen, it looks pretty similar to this game overall, so... Is this a... Oh no, this one should be unlocked. Alright, fine. Suits of armor? And are... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's... There's a lot of, uh... Let's split up. Roger. These old men were very obsessed with art. So you have mansions with you have mansions with like weird sixties style spy movie esque mysteries, you know doors behind weird mechanisms. It's very much like that. Is he dead? Yeah, okay. So this is also something new for Resident Evil Zero. It's these canisters where Rebecca can put chemicals in them. She has like a mixing set. Uh, 
actually, wait, can I put two stacks? No, I already have it. So that's pretty cool. You can use that for several puzzles later on in the game. Um, it's a pretty nice mechanic for Rebecca. Come on. Kind of okay. shows that she is the chemist she's supposed to be. All right, come on. Yeah, exactly. They were from the 60s. Yeah, so it's no wonder that there are certain 60s vibes in this game. What's the most iconic moment of the Resident Evil? Oh, wow, that's a really tough one. <sighs> Jeez, that's a really good question. There's so many, I mean... Birkin getting killed by the USS team. And then... Actually, if you think about it, have you guys... Oh, get out of the way, Bear. Let's get away. Shoo. Okay. Have you guys ever thought about this? Have you guys paid attention to how James Marcus gets assassinated? And then compare it to how William Birkin gets assassinated in RE2. It's almost identical. Like, just the way the frames are shot. And it, it kind of sums up the whole theme of betrayal as well, that everyone's out for themselves when it comes to Umbrella. Everyone just wants fame and power and money and glory, but when it comes to being a decent human, I think that's a foreign concept for them. Marcus's diary. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back to start detailed investigations immediately. So this is when he was still in Africa. March 23rd. Spencer says it's, he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can complete my research, uh, continue my research into Progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all the virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer! He came to me to complain again today. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool! But if his influences continue to grow, I can only be... It, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. So already we see some pretty serious rivalry right there. September 19th. At last, I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the, bre uh, was the breakthrough I needed. I can't... Uh, <laughs> I can't... I can't read, apparently. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. I wonder if that T, like the name Tyrant, didn't come because Marker, uh, Marcus thought that Spencer was a tyrant, so it was kind of named as a mockery of, of Spencer. I actually just thought of that. What do you guys think? Um, it's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments. But perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, and if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never see the privilege of of test of tasting this sense of oh oh my god. I'm just gonna reread this. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting the sense of joy and satisfaction. Now finally I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. 
The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. Today, I again found evidence of tampering around t uh, to the entrance of my labs. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and co collect my just reward. Yeah, we know how that went. There's something else here. Oh, there's nothing else here. <laughs> right. right. Uh, we got the book, we got the file. Pretty much, I think we should have all the pieces to open that door from this scale puzzle. Uh, I've been in there. Okay. All right. Making some nice progress here. Where did I leave Rebecca? She somehow stayed in the room. That's weird. I thought I called her. Oh well. Yeah, to... Do you guys know? Here's a little uh, question for you guys. Do you guys know what year Umbrella was founded? How much of RE0 are you playing tonight? It really depends on how much I can fit in to my time slot. Follow me. Probably yeah. I will not have time to beat the game. Far from it, I think, actually. Yeah, I'm not going for 100%. <laughs> I'm way too distracted to collect every single item at this point. Let's see. There's the other piece. I feel like... Um... Don't remember where I put the other two white pieces. There it is. It was really badly hidden. I think this is the- yeah, this is the dark one. Yes! 1967, that is correct. Umbrella was founded in 1967. Okay. Nope. I might do that map thing, honestly. Uh, I think it might be too tricky to- No, they're not in here. Feels bad, man. Alright, let's think about this. There we go. Uh, take care, Lone Wolf. Thank you for uh, popping in. Did I take... Oh, did I? I don't remember. Oh! White statue. This is only the half of it, right? I didn't... Did I accidentally combine it? There's a small hole in the back. No, I think it looks fine, doesn't it? I could have sworn it needed wings too. I honestly don't remember. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Let's put this in. Yeah, I think the the, e the white one needs wings as well, so we need to find the wings. I don't remember... where it is, because I haven't really... <laughs> Let's see, did we check this room? I, I might have not picked it up in this room over here where the shotgun is. That might be it. Because I, I pushed the bookshelf. I remember that. I pushed the bookshelf. Uh, 
Oh no, I took it. Rip! Then I really don't know where I forgot it. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, exactly. It's always interesting to analyze the Ari story. There's always different takes on it to be had as well. Huh, I'm trying to think. We got the... We got the two... I can't believe this is happening. Like, I, I normally always just pick them up just fine, but... I must have forgotten what I did. Yeah. No, that's the dark wings. We need the light wings. Damn, I'm really trying to think here. I am having a brain fart, you guys. If you guys remember where it is, please do let me know. So I need the white wings. And I think they're in a book. Did I actually ever push that shelf? I really don't remember now. Oh my god. And I normally play this without having to think. <laughs> I'll check it out. Okay. I'll send Billy. Yeah, I've I've heard that comment a lot about Rebecca. Um, I think Remaster handles Rebecca a little bit differently. Oh, it's not in here actually. What am I doing? It's not in here. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking as well. I actually seem to remember I dropped the book somewhere. Why did I do that? That was that was like the worst decision I've ever made in my life. I think I have an idea where though. I think I have an idea. It might be this room up here. Wait, is that the book? Wait, that looks like a book. Oh, there it is. My god, I started freaking out. See, this is this is a lesson learned chat. Never never drop these key items. You're just going to forget. <laughs> There we go. I actually like this puzzle as well, by the way, because... I mean, it's a scale and you have to balance good and evil. Think about what that says. Think about the symbolism in regards to Umbrella. For, for every evil force, there's also good people who are fighting that force. Like the stars, like the BSAA later on. I like it. Yeah, there's some pretty nice gameplay concepts. Absolutely. Uh, enemies can be really tough to fight in this, though. Sorry, I'm just thinking... Uh, can I maybe bring a heal, just in case? Yeah, because Billy has... I haven't really been doing a too good job of picking up the weapons. Or the ammo, rather, so... And also, Billy needs the shotgun. Billy needs the shotgun. And that's fine. Alright. What specific part of any RE game has been the toughest for you? Anything with numbers. Oh god, don't get hit! No, spiders! Oh my god! Go, Rebecca, you got this! Oh no, you... Uh, she got... She's... She's been poisoned. <laughs> My thoughts on the RE2 remake? I think it's amazing and brilliant, and you should all get it. <laughs> Hashtag not a sellout. <laughs> no, but it is... It is seriously an amazing game. The RE engine looks phenomenal. It's been upgraded from the R from RE7. Really does the graphics some 
up. I don't even want to call it graphics, it's just straight up magic. Okay, she's not poisoned. Great. Alright. Let's see if... I think there was a... F no, there's not... Oh, there is a file here. Yeah. Correctional Institute inmates list. Ooh, this is so juicy. You guys know what this is? So basically all the trainees that somehow did something wrong or maybe they didn't per perform according to expectations. They were sent here for experiments. How messed up is that, you know? In school, if you don't get an A, B, or C, you get a T. Get it? You get a T virus? Oh, I wish I had a drum roll right, right now. <laughs> yeah, so this is just a list of names. Some were disposed of, deceased, transport to research facility. Wouldn't actually surprise me if one of these was a tyrant candidate. You know, the, the tyrant in the in the basement in RE1? That's possible. Hey, dad jokes are my specialty. Don't hate. <laughs> Alright. Let me just make sure before I drop her over. I think we're fine, yeah. I could be of service. Time to go inside. I like how he says it all casually. Time to go inside. You'll be fine. There's nothing in here. Oh, this is a quite interesting room. A lot of crazy, wacky torture devices. They kept the eliminators here, I think. So the monkey, the experiments. This is just a... I'm not going to read this one because it just kind of gives you a clue on the puzzle. Alright, now, before I move... Before I make a move on this puzzle, I'm actually going to do something else. I'm going to take Billy out of here. Uh, this is another cool strat that you can do to make the game a little bit simpler because you avoid a few enemies on the way there and you get you buy yourself more time so basically we're just going to run straight back to the passage with the steam coming out of it it's a pretty clever thing to do so we're going to run there <gasps> that's just straight up rude am I poisoned? I'm fine I'm literally fine, too. <gasps> Did I... Okay, yeah, I'm fine. I think. What is up, Jacob? Jacob, uh, welcome to the stream. Guys, those of you who are tuning in, welcome everybody to the stream. We are just doing a Resident Evil Zero playthrough. Uh, probably not going to finish the game today, but it's okay. I'm just showcasing it a little bit. We're talking a little bit about the story. Um, we are streaming, we're multi-streaming today on YouTube, I believe, and on Twitch. So, hi all the YouTube people, I am Kat, I'm your Resident Evil Community Manager. Uh, unfortunately it's too hard to keep track of two chats at once, so if you want to chat or ask me questions, please make sure to come over to our Twitch channel. And also, follow Resident Evil social media, please for future news and updates and interesting posts. There we go. I, I did my I did my plug for my <laughs> I am terrible at plugging content, so I have to remind myself, you know. Down. Oh, yeah. A lot of people have some pretty colored opinions on those spiders. Some quite strong opinions. I don't mind spiders too much, I just don't like insects in general. But large spiders? No, yeah, see, Parsi Spooter? See, that's a classy spider, though. That emote even has a monocle. Oh, Billy's just awkwardly standing there. Billy's psychic. He knew, he knew this was gonna happen. You are wasting 
have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing. And I am very territorial. <laughs> It's releasing the uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, I appreciate that, James. It's releasing the. She gets bit there. She straight up gets bit. She should be infected. She gets nommed on by a monkey. And then the floor randomly breaks. That's perfect. It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe? This to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my word. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful, powerful G-Virus. I love his voice acting there. He sounds like a salesman. <laughs> he sounds like he's trying to pitch the idea of the, t of the G -virus. members into the G-Virus. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> oh, Wesker. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. <laughs> Yeah, so so that also explains that it was actually Birkin who started the the self-destruct in remake. And Wesker would go on to try to lure the the stars in because he needed combat data on the tyrant. So basically, you see what I mean? They're all selfish people. Wesker's like, "Yeah, Umbrella's probably going to go down. I'm just going to mosey on out of here, find a new organization to sell my soul to." That's fine. By the way, a lot of people might not know this, but a little interesting bit of info about Wesker. He was actually in the military as well. So he has had some army time. Oh my god, I forgot the shotgun! Sorry for shouting into your ears, y'all. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there's still one. I think they're dead now. Okay, good. Great. Excellent. We'll pick up all the other items when we come back. Cutscene time! Uh, it's an unknown organization after Umbrella. And then later he jo It's actually HCF Rebecca. after a while, and then later on it becomes Tricell. Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. No mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. I love this cutscene. No, sir, I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. It really shows how Rebecca... She's... Rebecca. <laughs> My first mission and I've already yeah. disobeyed orders. Disobeying so orders already. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. 
Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Yeah, Leon Kiske, it's what a lot of people think. However, the time frame doesn't work. Uh, Umbrella were in Africa a lot in the 60s and early 70s. Not, you know, Billy. Billy was only 26 in 1998, so he it would have been impossible for the time frame to fit. But there's definitely RE5 vibes. Cursed toast. So did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Yeah. Isn't that right? You don't get so... it. So... I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for- Obviously it wasn't can. him that killed That's the people all. in the MP. That's- You can kind of tell from the start, but... I mean, what else would you presume as a cop? You know, there's a bunch of dead people in a, in a van and... Suddenly, the, the person who was supposed to be executed is missing. Oh, that's just an ink ribbon. We don't want that. Yuck, we don't save. Although I feel like I should. <laughs> I haven't saved you guys. I have a terrible habit of never saving in RE games, and I feel like if I were to die now, it would be a very awkward stream ending. <laughs> but I think we're okay. I think we're okay for now. Um, just let me think. What's over there? There's hangar ammo. I'll get that here. What is up, Jabs? I think that was your name. Kind of hard to read yellow font on a white background. Yikes. <laughs> ah, this puzzle is pretty cool. Let's see if we can find the... Ah, uh, it doesn't... Never mind. We'll just do the puzzle. So basically this puzzle, you have to light the animals in the order of their power. So first is the deer. So the deer is considered, I guess, the most innocent creature. The deer gets killed by Mr... Where is he? Mr. Wolf, right there. So the wolf eats the deer. It's almost like a rules of nature type of puzzle. Food chain. Um, the horse outruns the wolf. Where is the horsey? I just saw it. Right there. The horse outruns the wolf because it's faster. Voice is way louder in the game. Uh, is it really? I've been trying to kind of move my voice a little bit. I don't want to be too loud, obviously. That's not what I want. Uh, anyway. Then the ti- I think the tiger. Yeah, the kitty. The kitty is next, right? Because the kitty- The kitty killed- Right? And then the snake. 
the snake killed the cat because it bit it and killed it with poison. And then the the ultimate victor is the eagle. The burb. There we go. And the puzzle is complete. Did you ever go into the Biohazard Cafe in Shibuya? Uh, actually, so I've never been in Japan. Uh, maybe... You know, I only recently started working for Capcom. Maybe at some point I will. I have no clue. Um, I didn't even realize that there's still Biohazard Cafes open because I knew there was one a few years back that might have closed down. I mean, it would be so awesome to get to visit. I, I think actually... Uh, there used to be this really big theme park or something in Japan where they had a replica of the RE1 mansion. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm not. I am not dropping hits to work. I'm fine. I don't have to go anywhere. Actually... Uh, what? Oh yeah, I didn't- I pressed zero, that's why. Lol. And... Let's just give her this as well, because I really need the slots right now. Uh, yeah, I have no clue. I... I think there might still be one... Resident Evil themed bar or cafe or something in Japan, but I'm not sure. I would honestly not be the best person to ask. <laughs> Favorite moments from each RE game? Uh, that's a... There's a lot of them. There's so many in RE2 and RE3 and Code Veronica and RE1. Pretty much every game. Even RE5. I actually love RE5. It's a... I think it's a very underrated game, personally. Ah! Do I have any more ammo? I only have three bullets. Might want to be careful. There's only really a file in here. I don't need anything crazy or anything. Fine, I'll just use this <laughs> shotgun. Oh, I think that was a double headshot. Even the story in RE1 is pretty- uh, RE5 is pretty decent actually. But, on to that, in a different day. Management Trainee's Diary. What is that Director Marcus... What is it that De uh, Director Marcus is researching all this time? And what's with his weird interest in leeches? Interest seems more like love at times. Rumor has it that there's something dangerous about those leeches. It's true that when Dennis just touched it, he got ill with a fever. Again today, there were those terrible moans beyond that door let sleeping dogs no way I'll no way I'll go near them even if the director ordered me I don't want to end up like Dennis that poor bastard scratching and scratching makes me itch just watching him must maybe go if can but how whoa Dennis gone I go hungry help mom Oh, he was just looking for his mom in his final moments. That's so sad. Ugh. Pretty creepy, these these dormitories. How... It, it, they, they had very Spartan uh, furniture, let me put it that way. <laughs> very minimalistic and basic furniture. They weren't exactly given nice treatment, were they? Anyway, I think it's time to go here? Uh, but here's the kicker. Uh, I don't think I have- I don't think I have enough ammo for this. So... I need to go back. I'll check it out. Okay. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, so I need to go back and get some more ammo because uh, the next area is gonna require some additional firepower. Not in here, damn it! Keep going the wrong way. Over here. What games do you think will stream next? Uh, maybe remaster. I was considering finishing Ori Zero, but I th I've 
I've never been a fan of splitting games up into several streams, so I might just move on to Remastered. And then the idea is that... Um, in a while, we will hopefully have gotten through most of the old Ari games, so the ones set in Rec... Oh, that's Billy, right. So the ones set in Raccoon City. I can't exchange, or she must not be close enough. Where is she? Oh, I left her, that's right. I'm such a derp. I left her because I thought she could wait, but... Yeah. Yeah. Not really... Not really supposed to be talking too much about RE2 right now, trying to focus on RE0, but... That is true. Uh... Fourth Survivor and Tofu Mode have been confirmed for RE2 Remake. Well, actually, I shouldn't even say RE2 Remake, just RE2. We call it RE2, because honestly, it's more than a remake. It's it's a reimagining. Alright. What a hassle. This is one of those games where... I find it really hard to commentate alongside RE0 uh, because it, it just takes so much brain power just to do the basic things, <laughs> I feel. Oh no, did I accidentally- yeah, rip first aid spray, I accidentally used it. I pressed down on the d-pad and it must have stuck, so... Yeah, I just wasted it. No! Yeah. It's a good thing I'm not trying to finish this playthrough because I don't even know if I would have enough supplies. What are you doing? You crazy bastard. So, um... There were actually quite a lot of different... research projects, shall we say, stored here in this lab. Many different BOWs, including Hunters. Basically, this was Umbrella's real lab until Spencer decided to shut the facility down. So it was actually shut down, but Marcus stayed behind. He still he still chose to... I don't need these. Why did I pick these up? He still chose to experiment and do to, uh, to basically do the research there. Well, hey, I know why. I have empty bottles. This is why. That's why I picked it up. So there's uh that's why there's many of Umbrella's old research experiments still left behind. One which we will encounter soon. Uh yeah, I'll just get the grenade launcher, I guess. Probably my best bet right now. Oh my gosh. I don't need to go here. What am I doing? Go back, go back, go back, go back. I just remember we don't need to go here at all. We need to go, uh. Jesus, my brain, my brain. We need to go to. Uh, where do we need to go? <laughs> we have. Actually, we have one of the stones. We should probably put that away. Let's leave this. Yeah, we, we, we go into the kitchen. We go into the kitchen, that's what we do. Uh, Kadama, if you really think about it though, if you fi if you play uh if you play Ori um remastered and you come across Rebecca as Chris. She basically is seen uh, taking care of Richard. So, I mean, she doesn't really... I think it's more in the original game. Obviously, they couldn't have had foresight 
in the original game because, you know, <laughs> the original came first. Um, but in the remaster, I, I, don't, I don't think she's too bad. I think she reacts pretty naturally. Obviously, she's worried about her friend Richard who got injured by the snake. Alright. Now we can finally go here. This is... This is taking way too long. But I needed to make sure I had the ammo. Spooters again! No! Just run! Oh my god, Rebecca, why? I hope she's coming, because I don't see her running after me. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, she's just on caution though, but it's okay. I'm gonna hold off on healing her for now. I'm actually gonna give her this weapon, because I really need a couple more spaces right now, so yes. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about any costumes or anything like that, you guys. It's pointless! You'll just have to wait and see, I guess. That's my- that's my standard reply now to everything. You'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I know someone asked, by the way, uh, someone asked about the RE0 costumes as well. Um... I just realized that because I'm playing this from a new PS4 uh, at work, I obviously wasn't able to carry over my save, so I don't have all the unlocked costumes for RE0. So that is a little bit of a bummer, but Let's split up. it is Roger. what it is. Alright. She waits there, he goes down. I'm just gonna equip the grenade launcher straight away. Oh, right, I- oh, right, she's- well, she's not full now. What am I even doing anymore? Gosh. I need to- I need to make sure to stack this properly. I'm gonna give her my handgun ammo for now. My d-pad will work. There we go. Okay, that's fine. How is my day? Thank you, I- I've been fine. Um, bit of a headache, but... We're powering through. We're just playing some Resident Evil. That's always a good thing, am I right? Oh, uh, I think I, I pressed the wrong one. It doesn't matter. I can still get around, but... Actually, these... These acid rounds... Pro tip, if you ever fight a hunter, use acid rounds. So... Hunters... Or any type of creature with exposed skin, even liquors in the original RE2, uh, they are really sensitive to acid. And then there's some enemies, of course, that are sensitive to flame, etc. So that's pretty cool, kind of knowing how each enemy uh, reacts differently to different types of ammo. There is a little bit of a strategy behind that as well. Hunters! Uh, I don't know what it is, you guys, but I think hunters are adorable. <laughs> just look at them! They're just like giant lizards with claws! Ow. And I think that's it. Aww. He's all crawling on the ground. Uh, take care, Casey, if you're heading out. Yeah, guys, if you are heading out from the stream, please do take care. It has been really nice having you here. Along for the ride. Uh, crap. That doesn't really matter now. Rebecca can come down, so... Right?
Now we have the water key. Follow me. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't necessarily know if I want to compare them to puppies, but. Yeah, acid rounds work really well against eliminators as well, I believe. Oh my god, Billy, you absolute... Oh my god. <laughs> Why? What did that spooter ever do to you? Oh, it's my fault. It's my fault. I should have taken control of Billy. Oh no. Damn it. Billy, damn it! We're, we're we're not made of uh, we're not made out of these uh, infinite acid round supplies. Just saying. God. What is that emote, Carsey? <laughs> it's like a cat or something. I've been trying to look at it and I just- I can't decipher what it is. Okay. Uh... Yeah, water key, fine. There's only one of those anyway, I think, and it's upstairs. What, uh... What is your favorite enemy or creature in Resident Evil, you guys? So mine are definitely... Hunters... And I really do love the tyrants as well. I love the idea and concept of tyrants. I love how creepy their backstory is. Actually, that reminds me. Hunters were created in a pretty disturbing way, according to Resident Evil lore. Uh, so what they did is they took a little bit of T-virus and they put it into a early stage human embryo. I guess they mix some frog DNA and whatever stuff in there as well, which is why they have their reptilian appearance, but yeah. It's, pre it's pretty gruesome. It's pretty gruesome. Uh, I'll try to think how to manage this. You know what? You know what? I might just, I might just use this because we're not really going to encounter any poisonous spiders or anything, so. And I'm going to run with Billy in case he decides to get all trigger happy. Liquors. Uh, can you explain if the crimson heads eventually turns into liquors? Yeah. So this is a natural evolution of the zombies when when they enter a dormant state, uh, or if they're really badly injured. Um, there will be a process called VACT, which will trigger and turn them into liquors. But there were also liquors who were artificially made. They are the ones in the labs. So there are natural liquors and there are evolved liquors as well that Umbrella actually worked on. Oh, I don't remember what's in here. Otherwise I would leave. Oh, I know actually. There is so much. Alright, we're going to have to drop some serious items here because... Yikes, I, I remember this. This is gonna be a pretty crazy area. I might even, you know what? I might even go back for Molotovs. Let's split up. Right. Yeah, it's pretty convoluted. As I said before, uh, the fact that makes Resident Evil lore so complex as well is there's literally like 10, 20 different strains of the T-Virus alone. So there was the T Epsilon that leaked in the mansion that they were using to create tyrants. That was the best tyrant base virus. Um, there was another, there was like a two other um, versions of T virus that were more prone to, they were better for when creating Cerberus and hunters. So it, it does get pretty complex. There's also like other uh, airborne and not airborne versions of the T virus. It's, it's pretty complicated. Yeah, T Epsilon. That's the one that was in the mansion. Uh, yeah. No, no, not in there.
Nah, liquors, liquors are not made. Um, so, Resident Evil Outbreak is a older Capcom series of Resident Evil games, but it is still considered canon. And in Outbreak, we basically see this woman who was half liquor, half, I guess, zombie. So it shows that there is a more natural evolution step between. Sorry, oh god, I keep pressing my inventory and just checking a million things. I should be okay for space. This is a really confusing game. If I play something like RE2, or RE1, or RE3, or RE4, well, yeah, most games, I pretty much don't have to think about what I'm doing, but this one, definitely have to use the old noggin. Yeah, exactly. There's that too, Stars Tyrant. So... Oh, Billy didn't come with. So the earliest uh, versions of the T-Virus, so the, the one we're seeing in this game, which is the one that Marcus developed, it's the Leech one that was directly developed from Progenitor. Uh, there, I guess it can be explained this that way. there are no okay. crimson heads in this game because that virus does not create crimson heads. Ah, it's pretty complicated. <laughs> I'm really getting into nitty gritty details now, it's pointless. We... actually, can you...? Alright. Oh no! I missed it. There we go, this is what I need. Get this and get out! Oh, the dodge! Get out of the way, Rebecca! <laughs> she literally stood in the way! And then she gets hit, I love that. Okay. Go in here. Leech man from Outbreak. Yes. Outbreak is such a great I, I love it. And this is me speaking inofficially, you know, I I absolutely adore Outbreak. Um Ooh, we're in a bar. Hey you guys! So remember how Rebecca could kind of play the piano in RE1? Can we get some Bible thumps in the chat? This is just beautiful. Ah, oh, she's just like, nope, I rage quit, I'm done. Nope. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, you guys, unfortunately, I have taken my sweet time with this game. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna have to call it here. I'm kind of bummed we didn't make it to the bat. Uh, I actually only have two more plaques to get. They're pretty simple to get. But, um, it's, we're gonna have to call it for today. I gotta go home. And these guys, my crew, gotta go home as well. We all gotta rest. We did our job for today. Uh, I'm really sorry that I didn't manage to finish RE0, but we will play more RE games in the future. We will definitely talk more about the difference in RE games and the various stories behind each game. So make sure to tune in next time when we do play. I think next time we might play Remastered. So we're gonna focus more on the RE1 story arc then. Uh, no, don't go. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone who tuned in to Twitch. Thank you everyone who watched from YouTube as well. You guys are amazing. Uh, make sure to follow RE Games on Twitter, make sure to follow Resident Evil on Facebook as well for the latest news and information. And uh, make sure to follow myself uh, at I'm Catastrophe as well. And if you have any questions, please direct them my way. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I will catch you next Thursday at 4pm as usual. Bye! This is not how I imagined my first day.
This is not how I imagined my first day. Back, sir, I got this. What the? Rookie, you save yourself first. Help me, please! What in God's name? Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.